Hey, sports bettors. Uh, this is Boyd. Happy Wednesday, February 28th. Uh, I teach beginner and struggling sports bettors how to use uh, data-driven betting tools like OddsJam. OddsJam is a, uh, a very robust uh, betting tool. It helps you identify market edges and missed prices and outliers and all the different uh, tools you need to find profits. Sports betting, whether it's live betting, um, you know, arbitrage, uh, anything and everything you need is is there. So we're going to go through some of the selections and picks that I do first thing in the morning. I'll have selections and picks all throughout the course of the day and also before the puck drops or the tip-offs happen. Uh, college pros, it doesn't matter. We do it all. So I um, want to get you a few of these picks to show you some of the tools and some of the, the decision-making processes that go in to help you identify the bets and, and uh, make these profitable wagers consistently on a daily basis. Again, I uh, encourage you to sign up uh, and get Odds Jam yourself. You have to have the tools in order to succeed. You can use Boyd20. Uh, Boyd20 is a promo code that will save you 20% off uh, when you get signed up at, at, at Odds Jam. And once you do, let me know. Say, hey, Boyd, got signed up. I can do a little one-on-one -on -one consult to help you get going. If you want further consultation, I have some packages available to do some private coaching, private consulting, and really get you set up wherever you're located. So let's get after and take a look at the, today's uh, opening picks. All right, guys, here we go with this uh, first play of the day, Lakers, Clippers, PRA, points, rebounds, assists. Going to go take a look at uh, Westbrook. Uh, what we like here is the under 21.5 minus 115 at Fanatics. Um, I don't have a I, – my Fanatics account's not funded. Uh, I do have a little bit of Caesars, but I'm going to go ahead and just put it in DK, uh, trying to get this account built up a little bit. And so we're going to use DraftKings here. Minus 120. What I like here, again, is bet online. Minus 144. I believe they're a sharp sports book with player props. And you can see here they're marking up, up about uh, late last night. They opened it up at minus 115. Very normal. The next thing you know, they got pounced on at minus 144. So due to this inflection at, at a time where I think a lot of sharp people are up at night getting in their shit early, uh, they got trounced and they've been stuck there at that price. So they're trying to hope that no one else gets on that. That play, seemingly the right play, but then we're going to get a better price at the minus 120. Uh, so, again, if you can get better than 120, go do it. But that's the under 21.5 points, rebounds, assists, Westbrook. There you go. All right, guys, here's a point spread play here with Boston and Lehigh. I like Lehigh minus 5.5 here with FanDuel minus 115. Here's why. Look at this. Pinnacle minus 129. Yeah, bet online up at minus 110. And we'll see some bookmaker charts here in a minute where they're going that direction. They've they started off about five and a half, and they're moving big time in that direction. So hit this minus 115 at FanDuel. Let um, me show you their charts, too. All right, here we go with the odd screen. You can tell here the pricing is changing. The pricing is adjusting, uh, actually going towards American. But look at this Lehigh-Boston game. Here's this five and a half, best odds, best price, minus 115. Check out the charts here at Bookmaker. I, I trust Bookmaker, <clears throat> one of the uh, sharp college sports basketball um Odds makers, they're at five and a half when they open. They're down to six and a half and go in that direction. So uh, the bullet train is headed that way. It could be a seven, seven and a half by the end of the day. So if you get five and a half at FanDuel, that's a great price, great situation to avoid that six number. So uh, for those reasons, we're going to hit that one pretty good. All right, next up, third pick, we have Cavs, Bulls, PRA, points, rebounds, assists right here. This is the market. You can do the drop down and see all the different markets here. It's crazy. A ton of data, a ton of information. There you go. We're here at PRA. We're going to scroll down here. Looking for Mr. Vucevic, and all the way at the bottom, as we scroll, 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 I found something I think is good relative to, uh, again, Bet Online being a sharp book for the uh, player prop here at minus 144. Their charts looking good. Uh, again, when they open up there at minus 126, boom, they got a big hit coming in. Obviously, some smart folks jumping on this. They got that price up to minus 150, 144. So if we can buy it here at the minus. Uh, uh, 121 at Caesars, worst case scenario, um, DK or ESPN bet at minus 125. That would be the play. There you go. Under 32.5 PRA Vucevic. All right, here we go with this scenario. Cavs, Bulls. Now, if you think about it last night, Cavs had a home game, uh, kind of a late night. Bulls had a home game as well, but they played like crap. So looking for a bounce back here in the first quarter to come back out. These guys being a little bit, uh, <clears throat> you know, lackadaisical, not a huge trip, not a huge travel trip. But I guess what I'm saying is, I expect them to come out cold. Got a nice price here, though. Um, <clears throat> a plus 122. It was up earlier. It's gone down a little bit from plus 132 to plus 122. And you can see here, uh, Pinnacle, not the direction I like to see it go, but they also <clears throat> shift the directions in their line. So I am going to just put a you know a little candy bar on this one here just because I like the price. I like the scenario and the situation. Um, so nothing crazy. Just uh, want to kind of give you the logistics of that pick and kind of the reasoning, the explanation of uh, how we come to that conclusion. 
All right, here we go with the uh, point spread bet with Auburn and Tennessee. Saw this earlier, and I liked it, and this has kind of continued to go, so I'm jumping on it before it gets worse. Saw it earlier at the 5.5, or actually 6, uh, here with Tennessee minus 6. You can pick that up at Rivers. Uh, again, I'm limited at Rivers, so that's that's kind of a pain in the neck. Um, here at minus 105 with FanDuel is, is where we're at. Also picking up a sport trade at minus 104. Sport trade is a betting exchange here in Colorado, so please uh, take advantage of that. I'll leave the links down below. It's awesome for, for the day trading sports, um, <clears throat> as well as uh, Novig. Novig is also another exchange here in Colorado. I'll be talking about that more in the coming days and months and weeks. But I really like this Tennessee play. Let me show you why on the charts next. Okay, here's the odd screen at odds. You can see Tennessee minus 6.5, best price, minus 105 at FanDuel, best odd, best price. Um, anytime you're under the pinnacle line here as far as juice and value, you're doing a good thing. So that's where we are. Uh, another thing, the indicator I like to see is the charts and the money going. I mentioned earlier is at minus 5, and it's a train going the other direction. So it went from 5, uh, you can see down below here is 5, up to 6.5. So again, uh, I think it's only going to get worse and go higher. I can see Tennessee probably doing a little bit of a blowout here. Uh, so we may be playing some alt lines a little bit later, say Tennessee minus 10, minus 10 and a half, things like that. So I feel like this is a good one. I'll be really surprised if this isn't a uh, Tennessee blowout. All right, this next one here, guys, over 145 and a half with Mercer over uh, over with Chattanooga. So Mercer, Chattanooga over 145, minus 110 at FanDuel. Holy shit, they are asleep at the wheel. Everyone else is, has been moving up, up, up. They're up at 147, 147 and a half. Uh, you could get a little bit of bet GM, which I'm going to go do real quick. <laughs> but you can see the charts. Uh, it's going up this direction. It's a great sign. So I'm going to put a little extra on this Mercer uh, over 145 and a half. You got, you got uh, Caesars. You got... Uh, Pinnacle, one for, this is crazy. I'm going to jump on this over at the Bed and Gym right now. All right, guys, I did take a, a break there. I had to go uh, hammer this Mercer play. Uh, over 145 and a half. I put a little over here, put a little over here. Uh, and the reason why is because I think someone's asleep at the wheel here uh, relative to Pinnacle being minus 133. They're still sitting there at minus 110. And again, the charts is showing that big, massive wave going that direction. We looked it up and showed you with Bookmaker. Uh, bet online. A lot of the the sharp sports books are just, you know, they're at that point. Circa, they're at 146. So, I just, you know, I'm wondering why it's, I wonder why they're, you know, asleep here. Plus, these guys are typically asleep too. So, for those reasons, even if this play doesn't hit, that's the right move. That's the right context and right concept of how you do this because, uh, you know, you're getting a positive expected value from the sharpest sports books, which like a pinnacle. Uh, bookmaker or things like that uh, that are that are market makers. So again, that's that's what I'm going to hit. Another big one that uh, is kind of my uh, my go-to so far today, over and above Tennessee. All right, guys. Here's one that's kind of interesting. Let's just use this as sort of a tester because uh, right now uh, Alabama, Ole Miss, and my first thought was on Alabama um, because of the charts. But as I looked at it closer, what I saw was a horseshoe. Uh, graph or chart at bookmaker and I'll show you what I'm talking about so typically um, you know I'm looking at the direction of the flow of the money and with Pinnacle um, they're getting this on the Ole Miss plus five you can see here they've gone from plus 107 and moved about 21 cents uh, 20 cents to, to the minus 107 now it's up at minus 114 so I, I, I'm seeing a home dog here that I think originally I was on Alabama uh, minus four and a half um, even five but um this is leading me to believe you can get plus five and a half or plus five with old miss but it's going to be a tester let me show you the, let me show the charts in the next graph all right so here's something else i'm seeing so i went to bookmaker i like to use bookmaker for their charts and their graphs they have a lot of money movements so what i see here is they first opened up it was minus six it went down to five so that tells me they were getting some money on originally on the sharps uh overnight pricing 19 hours ago dropped it down to five. So that, that's an indicator that some sharp money came in on Ole Miss, uh, maybe moved it back to the minus six, and then again, they're buying it back over here down to five. So that tells me that the dog price is better. The dog is a better situation in, in that scenario with bookmakers. So let's take a look at uh, Pinnacle um, at the plus five. And you can see here, they were at six. They dropped down to five. So they're, they're clearly getting money coming in on Ole Miss, the home dog. So that, that originally was something that you know, I'm thinking, okay, plus five and a half at FanDuel is kind of a juicy price at minus 112, plus five and a half. Ole Miss at, uh, um, is a little better price, minus 115 at BetMGM. So I probably will just put a little on that. 
but it's kind of funny how I started off here uh, on the Alabama side and then actually looking at the charts and things changed my mind. Uh, so here's another thing, too. You see DraftKings is kind of the public book. Um, you know, if that's something they're changing their price on, uh, I'm not interested. <laughs> I'm interested in the sharp books uh, and using the sharp books against the dumb books and uh, making the money there. The last thing I, I forgot I wanted to mention on this is Sport Trade and uh, Novig, the two betting exchanges here in Colorado. Uh, they're juiced at, at pretty high, at minus 118, plus five and a half. So that's another indicator that tells me that uh, that's the correct side. At least that's the one, again, I'm going to make the decision with. So uh, when they're juiced heavily to that, that direction, that's an indicator again. So again, I'm looking at uh, Ole Miss plus five and a half um, and taking that to currently at uh, BetMGM for a, a Kit Kat sneakers. All right, guys, there you go. There's some of the selections, some of the picks that we have. Again, that's just kind of the tip of the iceberg. But I want to ask you to join the channel. If you have any feedback, let me know down below. Uh, if you like the content and want to hear other types of content like this, let me know as well. So, again, just trying to help you understand the the markets, the, the betting tools, have a plan, have a profit plan, uh, and then engage in that every day so you can make the most out of it. And uh, there's a lot to this. It's not difficult but it can be uh, overwhelming if you uh, don't have the tools. And again, highly recommend you get signed up for Odds Jam. Also, let me know if you want any private consultation at the website down below to boydavis.com. So again, appreciate you stopping by. Let's go make some mathematical money.